Live from Dodger Stadium, two of the best teams in the game square off. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Michael Grove. What do we have on him? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Here comes Aaron Judge. There you see how he's doing down the stretch with his August and September splits. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and we are underway. First pitch, 707. The wind of the pitch. That's down and in. That one drifts inside. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical, very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. The 3-1. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And Leading here is Anthony the Rizzo. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. In there, and it's 0-1. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one missing low. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. The pitch. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle fighting the zone that for him in the past. Now, the even if they get out of this jam, Labor. these walks add pressure Torres. and stress to the entire team. Here comes Glaber Torres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the right hander deals. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Here's the 0-2. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. No outs. Runners at first and second. On the ground is short, could be two. Turner over to second, on to Freddy. Double play. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All Star game and have a Gold Glove, if not a Platinum Glove. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and zero. And the slider catches the zone. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he well, got to pause on that thought as that'll do it for the inning. One left for the Yankees, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No school. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A. and on the mound in this one, Luis Severino. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. And he deals. Mookie Betts now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Severino. In the air, right field. Racing makes the catch. And there's one away. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. This is a very patient lineup we're going to see. They've got the most walks of any team in the league, so that's a big part of their approach as an offensive unit. Boog, and when you can do that, the amount of pressure that that can put on the pitcher, making him you know, grind through every hitter so much that he's got to think about when you got base runners on and a good hitter at the plate. And so three base runners, they're going to happen when you have hitters like this. Up to the pitchers to figure out a way to have better command and make sure that they can get some outs when they do get a base runner double play. But when you have a team like this, very difficult to stop. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Batting third. The first Here comes Freddie Freeman up to Freddy. hit. Freeman. Severino throws to first. And Turner's back in. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Pickoff throw. Back in safe, really close. Want to know to Freddie Freeman. Turner runs. Follows the transfer. No throw. Severino kicks deals. 
That's a strike. And a count two and one. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now two gone. The batter now will be Will Smith. The catcher. Will. The golf move to second. And Turner's back in. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Runner leads away at second. Falling behind two and one. Runner at second, two down. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall, should be extra bases. In at second, no play. And a run comes in to score. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. He got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over. Absolutely smoked that ball. Justin Turner now. Batting fifth, the designated hitter, Justin. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And they lead by two. Picks himself up at RBI. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. Batting fifth. The third baseman, Max Muncy. First offering misses the mark. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. Come on, Dodger! Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. The next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. So all filled up. Severino popped up. On the run, throw to first. That's the inning. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers two and the Yankees nothing.
back here at Chavez Ravine. Yeah, the batter now, Giancarlo Stanton. Leading off for the Yankees. He is very the much right your typical power hitter. Giancarlo. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout oh, concerns. In the first pitch misses for ball one. Nowadays with advanced metrics and aggressive defensive shifting, defense isn't necessarily just about making errors. Are you able to get to balls? Are you able to fill spots where guys hit the ball? One down. And an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for that positioning and then the, uh, the research Oswaldo. person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Oswaldo Cabrera stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. You'll want. Swing and that's ripped towards right center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Around first, digging for two. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay to third. Not in time. He's safe. I love seeing a nice triple into the gap. It's just a great baseball play. You've got to get out of the box. You've got to cut the bases. And sometimes you've got to pick up your third base coach. And on top of that, nice swing to barrel up the ball out front. And he was on his horse the entire way to third. Very well done. So one gone with a runner at third. And now Bader up to the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. In there for strike one. One away with a runner at third. This ball's chopped on the ground. Just got him. And he was burning up the baseline. Batting eight. The shortstop. Isaiah. Kiner Falefa. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And first offering is fouled off. Rudder at third, two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. Now a pop up on the infield. And that'll do it. The Yanks lead one. They trail things here 2 0. Concentrating my balance, give life a better chance. I'm too involved in God, not television. Bottom of the second. Here's Joey Gallo. Leading off for the Dodgers. The left fielder, Joey. Yellow. The wind in the pitch. Inside, just missed. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Singy wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Gavin Lux. Good contact guy, good defender. First offering, and it just misses.
Gallo aboard here at first with nobody out. Rocketed out towards right center. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. And it bangs up against the wall. Here comes Gallo. Torres with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And they lead by three. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Here's Cody Bellinger. Batting nine, the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. The 1-0. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. That one missed, now three and oh. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. pitch swing and that ball smashed on a line and that should be extra bases Lux headed for the plate he scores and it's 4 nothing. nice double right there loud contact coming off the bat didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here but you'll take that swing and that result every time And now it's Mookie Betts. He has, as they now like to say, light like tower you. power. Mookie. Not a big guy, but a Betts. big swing. Nope. And thunder in that bat. Man at second. That one is upstairs. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. pitch out to short Tanner Falefa collects it low throw and he can't dig it out the batter number six Gustav Turner Trey Turner down always we know just some things some things we show Watch me and a base hit into right. They won't test it here. Base is loaded, no outs. First pitch swing in, went up no there with the plan to be aggressive. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel Three really man. good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that's in there for strike one. Base is loaded, nobody out.
Next offering is in for a strike. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Beats to second, out there. Back to first, save. And a run comes in to score. Well, it's always a tough double play to try to turn right there, and the hitter knows that. He's going to hustle all the way up the first baseline to prevent it. Nice job of getting that run across. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis Severino won't go any further tonight. And the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Clark Schmidt gets the ball now. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Number 86, Clark Schmidt. Two on with one out, and up to the plate is Will Smith. The, the catcher, Will Smith. First Smith. offering misses badly for ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. In the dirt, but kept close to second, and he's out. Right handed reliever. That's in there. That's strike one. Chris, you look at it, these are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager. And all of a sudden, they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call-ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up and be on that playoff roster. Next offering way off the plate. And he walked him. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. You know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next offering is in for a strike. Corners are occupied with two down. Strike two. At the belt and fires. Hit hard, base hit. One run is in. Smith coming home. He scores as well. It's seven to nothing. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now it's going to be Max Muncy. 0 for 1 so far. The third baseman, number 13. Max. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Muncy. Swings and blasts one deep to left center on its way and it is gone Max Muncy leaves the yard his 21st of the year it's 9-0 
That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. So two away with nobody on. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Joey Gallo. One no for one here. with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left hand batter waits. And that's oh, outside. Man. This has been a rough inning, but sometimes you just got to work through it, save the rest of that bullpen, somehow stop the bleeding. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. Make a great catch like that. It's all about timing the jump. His timing was perfect. Excellent grab, and he comes down with it. The inning is over. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and here is Jose Trevino. He is the at the top of the game Jose. in terms of defense at the catching spot. And here it comes. Liner caught it second. The batter, number 99, designated hitter, Aaron Judd. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's some real power at the plate. Aaron Judge. And yeah, the first oh, offering is not close. And the righty deals. And it's one and one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Ball to strike. And that's outside. Judge rips that one. That's back there. Reaching for it, makes the catch. Now back, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Here's the strike. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. That's a hit. And that keeps the inning going. That pretty much now split battle. the zone down the, the middle, and baseman. those are the ones where you Labor. gotta make them pay. Four. Here is the young phenom, Glaber Torres. He hit into a double play his first time up. In there, and it's 0-1. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. And a pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bellinger under this one. Makes the grab. That is the inning. One left for the Yankees. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's a speed threat. Gavin Lux. The second baseman. Schmidt back to work. Lux. That one's in there. Going on. Righty delivers. That one down the line. And that's just foul. Next pitch is in the dirt. And the count is one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. 
ground ball left side and it goes just foul. Left field Cabrera should have this one. He's got it one up one down. The center fielder number 35 Cody one down there Bellinger. comes Cody Bellinger. First pitch and he just misses nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Next offering is down low. Well usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound in this situation ahead 2 0 he's put himself in a really good spot. The pitch. And fouled off. On the ground, right side. Rwanda Rizzo, fine play in the hole for the out. Up next to the top, the right field. Mookie. So the lineup flips over. Here's a big power threat, Mookie Betts. Ground ball to the right side. Rizzo steps on the bag, inning over. Dodgers down in order, but they still hold a 9 nothing lead. I'm on that west side, baby, you should already know that. Top of the game with an ounce of that back. Riding through the city in a magic throwback. And welcome back. Start of the fourth. Here's Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Yankees. Plenty of the offense in this one, Singy. Josh. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching. That one hit to right. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than the others, right and that short fence Giancarlo. is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. Giancarlo Stanton to the plate now. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. John Carlos Stanton blasts one out to the opposite way. His 29th of the season, and they're chipping away. It's 9 2. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach you'll hit for a high average as well. Up next for the end. And now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Pitch misses inside, ball one. Well, a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. You got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. Now that's smack to right center. Bellinger makes the grab. What a way. Now batting the center fielder, Harrison Bader. And stepping in for the Yankees, Harrison Bader. Grounded out his first time. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Rips that one to right. Can't get there. Base hit. Bader into second, and he's got a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on now it, and it is. jumped Good off shot. his bat. Kind of I put it all it. together there, and he's that. rewarded with the double.
So digging in, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Slice to right and foul ball. The 0 1. In the dirt. In there safely. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. Gathers and throws to first. That takes care of Connor Falefa. The catcher, number 39, Jose Trevino. Here's Jose Trevino. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next one off the plate inside. Ball two. And the pitch. Breaking ball inside. And it's 3-0. Bader on third with two out. And a 3-0 finds his own. Kicks and fires. Liner staked at first. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's now a 9-2 ball game. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Leading Trey Turner. The, Dodgers. Not shortstop. the right hander back to work. Turner. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batting, first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Oh, and one now. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. The other way, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now batter. One down, and next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Smith. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. And he deals. That's in. Ball two. Misses outside. And now 3 and 0. Oh. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Here's Justin Turner. First pitch just misses. One out. 
Runners at first and second. And there's the strike. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Here's a one-two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there are two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little baseman, anxious. Matt Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. Pitch misses inside. Okay, that's ball one. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Two, two. Just Thank misses you. with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Three balls, two strikes to count. In the air, left side. Into the dive, and he got it. A bit of a do or die there. He lays out, makes the diving catch, and he strands a couple of runners. Back here in L.A., all set for the start of the inning. Now Rudy up is the Yankees' D.H., Aaron Judge. Hitter, Aaron Judge. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. In for a strike. Strike one. I think it was sitting off speed right there because he just let the fastball go by. And a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And down on strikes he goes. One away. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Anthony. Up the middle, Turner handles the chance to first, Rizzo out of the play. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter, rolled over it, got the Up ground out. The, Yankees, the second baseman, Labor Torres. Two outs, base is empty. Digging in, Glaber Torres. Looking at Torres, have to say he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. So the Yanks go in order. They're down seven. It's 9-2.
Clay Holmes please. gets handed the rock now out of the pen. The uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So at this point Clay. in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at Chavez Ravine, we head to the bottom of the fifth. The and at the plate for the Dodgers, the Joey field. Gallo. Joey. When you think about it, Gallo. he may be in the league for the next 10 or 15 years. So why to kick the pitch? And first offering is fouled off. Now the 0-1. Sliced hard, but foul. The pitch. And the slider just misses. 2-2 Two -two now. Stays alive. And a pitch. Bounce to the left side. Throw on to Rizzo. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. The batter, number nine. Second baseman, Gavin. Luck. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid 80s. Good contact, not much power, and he can run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Movement in the Yankees pen. Jonathan Loisica getting ready to go. I think baseball's starting to understand that those guys are valuable like they once were. They need him in this game today. Inside and it hit him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying now through the back. target, and clearly not the release. Cody. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. First pitch, not close. Righty to the plate. Just nope. missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Yeah, the right hander deals. That one missed. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. And there's ball four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers for the fourth time tonight. First offering misses the mark. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Two on, one out. And another ball. Chris, one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he's got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. Next offering misses, 3-0. and oh. pitch that one found hard the other way three one now to the left side but it is well foul here comes a pitch and that one fouled off 
Runners at first and second with one gone. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Trey Turner with a chance now. This guy has turned into a beast. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right-handed reliever just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That misses. And that's ball three. Two outs. That's in for a strike. Three balls, one strike. Turner awaiting a 3 1. That's in there, and the count is filled up. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He can play off some really close yeah, pitches. And the somehow, though, he found a way to get the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Freddie Freeman stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Left hand hitter waits. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. One run across, two runs across now. And they clear the bases. Three runs score, and it's a double digit lead as they're up by 10. How about that? Clears the bases. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Jonathan Loisica. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Now at the plate, Will Smith. The batter, the catcher, Will. And that's in there for strike one. And the strategy of winning a ball game when you can make that pitcher work a little more expose himself by throwing pitches that could be the key to winning perhaps later on so good job of extending this inning getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up you one this one popped up foul ground first base side no trouble here puts it away for the out and that is that we're through five it's the Dodgers 12 and the Yankees two All set for the top of the sixth. And yeah, the batter now, Josh Donaldson. The, the third baseman. Two of the most potent Jonathan. offenses in the game squaring off. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. And he'll one. That misses off the outside edge. The wind and the pitch. Bounce to third, and that's just foul. And that one hammered. That's back there. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Everything came together perfectly for him right now there. Batter. He recognized right the through. rotation of the baseball oh, out of the hand, stayed tall on the yeah. backside, and crushed that pitch the other way. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's already homered here in this one. 
Shoots a line drive single into right center. Donaldson coming around third. He'll score. It's 12-3. And in its second with an RBI double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside. Saw it deep into the zone and just barreled it up. Went the other way for the knock. Oswaldo Cabrera getting ready to hit. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Muncy has this one sized up. And in foul ground, he pulls it down. What out? Now batting the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. Let's go, Dodgers! First offering, and it just misses. Stan, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the next pitch is way outside. That's to third. Throw on to Freeman. And Bader is set down. Now batting. The shortstop. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Isaiah Kiner Falefa will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Here comes Stanton. He will score, and now it's 12-4. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. Off the bat, he was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. So two down, and here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. A little bloop single. The run comes in from second, and they're on the board, but lots of ground to make up. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Now pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Aaron Judge at the plate. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. And here it comes. Strike. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. Aaron Judge leads the yard. His 61st home run of the season. And they cut into the deficit. It's 12-7. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, number 64. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Caleb Ferguson. Two outs, nobody on. Anthony Rizzo now at the plate. Now batting. The first baseman. First offering oh, misses man. badly for ball Rizzo. one. Hey, 
There's a strike 95 of that one. The one one. Comes up empty that's strike two. The big lefty turns kicks deals. Pitch misses there and the count is two and two. Good eye right there. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And that's ball four. Nope. No, oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near now the top of the strike zone. The second baseman. And now the Labor. young star. It's Torres. Labor Torres. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Chris Martin, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Vicia, a left hander, also throwing. Fought off foul. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hard hit left side, and it goes just foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next pitch is inside. Two and two. And now the lefty. That one out to right. Betts moving under this one. And that is that. So five runs in the inning as they bat around. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Dodgers 12 and the Yankees 7. And welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Turner now. Leading off for the Dodgers. The designated hitter, Justin Turner. The pitch. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. A right-hander is up and thrown. Righty delivers out front and foul to the left side. Here's a 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. I got 2-1 to count. Rolled over to third. Donaldson gloves it. Throws to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. The third baseman, number 13, Max Muncy. And now it's Max Muncy. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it. And, man, he wasn't fooled at all. 
Joey Gallo steps to the plate. Now batting, the left fielder, Joey Gallo. That one's in there, 0 1. That's outside. Here's a 1 1. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Muncie, the runner at second with one away. Side gets out of the way. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two gone now. Now it's going to be Gavin Lux. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. First offering way inside, almost got him. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Man on second, two down. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Cabrera towards the line, looking up, makes a one-handed catch. So the Dodgers leave one. They lead it, however. It's 12 to 7. Reach the people and sell my CDs. This is my grind. It's what I'm committed to. If it don't sound good, maybe it ain't for you. You want this. New inning getting started. Now here is Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Yankees. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And the pitch. That one not close. And that is ball one. Kicks and fires. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. The next pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. We got two balls. Kicks and deals. Downstairs and it misses ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. So, man aboard, you're Stanton now. No, oh, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip and the matchup is very favorable. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Next offering is foul back. And the 2 stays alive. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and two. 
Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Well, not much you can argue with there as a hitter. That pitch was dotted on the inside corner of the plate. I think even if he swings the bat, it blows him up and not really able to do anything with it anyhow. I think if you see that early, then perhaps you can pull those hands a little bit tighter and get the fat part of the bat to it. But I'd say overall, you just have to tip your cap on that one. Great execution. Cabrera, the next to hit, takes outside. That one drilled left field. Fair ball. And that's going to get into the corner. Safely into second. He's got a double. Now that the set of fielder. So one out Harrison with two aboard. Harrison Bader, the next to hit. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Went too far that time. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. One and two here. Just misses the mark outside the zone. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Ripped on a line, and it goes just foul. Two two now and there's a ball one down runners at second and third slapped foul got him looking two out. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four and he Up wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. One for three. Pulls that one foul. At the belt and fires. In the air, right field. Betts makes the catch, and that'll do it. Yank strand a pair. Down by five, it's 12 to seven. Welcome back, and now the center fielder, Cody Bellinger, leading off for the Dodgers. The center fielder, Cody. Bellinger. The right hander back to work. That one fouled off. Next pitch misses. And one and one. That's through there for a strike. The punch out there and one away. Here's Mookie now. The right fielder. Mookie. 
First offering in the dirt. In there at the knees. And a pitch. And a count one and two. And the righty deals. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Trey Turner at the plate. Oh, that's that's your stop. And the first offering is not close. Two down, nobody on. Towards first. Can't field it cleanly. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They lead it, however. It's 12-7. to seven. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Martin. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Chris Martin. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we go to the eighth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. Jose The pitch. Called strike right there. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Alex Vesia, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. pitch and it's fouled away right into the play out there to center Bellinger under it and out number one on the ground the batter number 99 designated hitter Aaron. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Rip to third and caught. Now batting the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. First pitch, just misses. Way high. Now three and oh. And now three and one. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The pitch. Line drive. Caught. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. Down by five. It's 12 to seven.
back a now. New pitcher on the mound as we now roll into the bottom of the goal. eighth. Number 97. number 97. He's pitching on two days rest. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And here's the first baseman. Go. Freddie Where's Freeman. The, the first baseman. Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. Line drive and a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this now one. Challenged him with the Catcher. fastball right in the heart of the Whoa. zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. And at first, and here is Will Smith. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. His 24th home run of the season, and they add on. It's 14 7. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. So now Turner in on that right side. Up next to Todd, the designated hitter, Justin Turner. Fly ball down the line. Stanton glides to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The third baseman, number 13. Matt. Max Muncy at the dish. Muncy. First pitch, and he just misses. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Lou Trevino appears to be getting loose. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. The pitch. That one hammered center field. Way back there. Oh! His 22nd homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 15 7. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this. At bat was very patient, and it paid off. So here comes the big lefty Aroldis Chapman to the mound. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. So one out, nobody on. Next to hit, Joey Gallo. The batter, the left fielder. First Joey. off, bringing it just misses. Gallo. And here it comes. On the ground, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. The batter, number nine. One gone Second runner at first. Gavin. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. In there and it's 0-1. And he deals. 
Right. That's in there. And a count is 0 and 2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Oh, that plunked him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Fell in the box. He's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Here's the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. A strikeout and a walk. First pitch doesn't find the zone. There's a strike. Here comes a pitch. So now one and two. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. One and two now. Oh. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Donaldson racing over to make the catch. Now that is right fielder. Mookie. Here's Mookie now. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And the 0-1. Foul ball there. Two outs. Tap back up the middle. Torres picks it up over to first. They limit the damage here. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Last chance coming up here for the Yankees. Back here in L.A., we go to the ninth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Glaber Torres. The second baseman, Glaber Torres. Martin back to work. On the corner for a strike. That's strike one. Activity in the bullpen. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. And the right-hander deals. And it's even up. Right handed reliever. And that one fouled off. A one two. This to third and foul ball. Next offering is downstairs. And downstairs. Righty delivers. Bounced up the middle. Lux collects. The throw to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now that is third baseman. John. Donaldson. Josh Donaldson stepping in now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. For a guy that's been swinging the bat well all game long, that was a pretty ugly swing right there. I'm sure he'll tighten it up on this next pitch. Kicks and fires. And now it's even up. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah. The pitch. And a foul ball. Yeah. 
Next pitch misses way outside. And a pop up right side foul territory and that drops foul. And down on strikes out number two. Two outs base is empty and up next for New York John Carlos Stan. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And he won around. Rule to swing. Next one misses. And a count even one and one. Next offering is foul back. Just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. What a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff. Come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 15 to 7 at the end of this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.